Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here. Apple released macOS 15.2 Sequoia some time yesterday, or most of hours ago, and there are a couple new changes. If you are coming from a 15.1.1 or just a plain regular 15, as you can see, this update came at around 1.4 gig. For me, they updated from the RC2. Yeah, I don't know how heavy it's going to be, but if you're updating from a regular build, it's probably be significantly heavier than that and the view number for this update is 24c101 so this is a future update and also feel a bunch of security updates but let's look at the futures first of all is with image playground let's check messaging and see what it's all about all right so this is messaging um i am in an i message myself so let's try out image playground yeah you see this little pop up when you click the plus icon here for some reason though, we can't really see Genmoji yet, it's probably a bug. We should have Genmoji by now, but let's try out Image Playground. Yeah, we have this little pop-up here. So let's describe the kind of image we want and see if it's able to generate that effectively. I won't lie though, the animations are crazy. You can literally see the detail with Apple's animations. Insane. So this is why you have do not with sprinkles. All right. Yep. And once you generate that, it adds that to the body of a message and you can be like, send. Yeah. Gone to me and received by me. <laughs> Apart from this, we had chat GPT integrations. I talked about this before, but let me show you guys what I was talking about. So we head over to Apple Intelligence and Siri you'll see at the bottom extensions chat gpt you can actually access this without signing in though but signing in just helps you keep records of all your chat gpt requests so you can see you will have access to chat gpt's advanced capabilities until you reach your daily limits an additional request will then use the basic version for up to 24 hours so it seems there is a limit you can use per day for 24 hours let's try out chat gpt uh, hold the mic button. Can I talk to ChatGPT? Tell me about the iPhone 14 Pro. Oh. He didn't get it pro though, but let's see what he has for us. Yeah, so this is what he has from ChatGPT. You can see at the bottom here. So this is quite concise. Yep. Stunning Super Retina XDR and every blah, blah, blah. Anyways, you can see it works, yeah, and you can see you don't need to be signed in, yeah, although you can sign in to keep your record of a request in your chat GPT account. Something also new with menu bar and weather is that now in the control center settings, you can now access weather in your menu bar. So here it is, menu bar, weather, show in menu bar. Once you do that, you now get like a pop-up of your location and the expected weather history. I feel like this could be much better looking, but let's see how Apple makes it in future updates. For now, at least we had functionality now. It's extra space consumed, but not really a big deal though. Another update is the Apple Music. You can now search for music with natural language without having to be too specific. So let's be like, oh, calm, evening, music. Yeah, so you can see we have a couple suggestions for calm avian music. So in photos, we have some new UI updates in utilities. We now have favorites and also you can clear out your recently viewed for privacy reasons. So if you right click on recently viewed, you now see the option see that play a slideshow creates or remove all from recently viewed. That's something new also in photos. In Safari though, we have a couple new wallpapers. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, about six of them in total. Although for some reason they have refused to download, as much as I can tell, my internet is very active. All right, this is how the new one looks like. Actually, this is like my favorite rights among the new wallpapers. I like this, I'll stick with it on this profile. We also have new wallpapers that came from the iMac. So where are those? Here they are. The iMac with the M4 chip gave us about seven new wallpapers, different shades of color. You can see the wallpapers are spelled iMac. For some reason though, we didn't get any new special ones on the MacBook Pros, but I guess it's fine though. I'll link this wallpaper in the description for those of you who want it. We don't really have much to go over in the release notes though, and security updates because Apple didn't really say much there, so I won't really waste your time with that section. So the big question now is, should you install macOS 15.2 Sequoia? And I'll tell you, it is very safe to install if you have an Apple Silicon Mac. There are a couple new features you could get from this Siri with chat GPT integrations, Genmoji when it shows up, Image Playground, and the rest of them. So at this point, there is no way it could possibly go wrong. Also, battery life is quite good. Yeah, you can see there isn't much to report here. Yeah, Apple Silicon Max have good battery life already. Yeah, there is no way that can ever change. So, thank you guys for watching this video. As always, if you are new here, do consider subscribing, turning on post notifications for future updates. Yeah, I'm kind of new in the macOS and iOS reporting scene, but I'll make my mark here as time goes on. I'll see you guys also in the next one. I had it out.